Now here we are in video two of the Walla Walla Sweet Onion eating process. Now since my wife's out of town for a couple of weeks, learning to speak Spanish in Mexico, get out of there cat, get. I'm kind of batching it so I'm not going to set up a five star plate to do this. Anyway, we have the onion here and this is a red one. I don't know if that's a red sweet onion or not. But if you come to Walla Walla between I believe now don't I'm not positive it's between something like the end of May and July maybe I'm not, I'm not positive but right outside of town are a bunch of old family farmers that have these onions for sale you could always tell because when you get on the highway you will smell the onions long before you see them and once you get to there, you have little stands that have been there for decades and decades. You'll find uh, very nice fam family oriented people and they will sell you onions. Now this is your ordinary store size onion. Okay, you're not going to get these uh, on the, uh, in, in the stands. You, what you're going to get is you're going to get an onion as big as that damn bowl right there. I call them the Super Max or Super Magnum Walla Walla Sweet Onion. So, now to make this concoction work, as we only can do it in Walla Walla, we put a little salt in. We have to use this kind of pepper. This is the best pepper. I don't know about salt, but this is the best pepper. Damn, it's got some ambience to it and some effervescence. Then you just put that in there. And then what we do is we'll take a knife and I will stop the tape and cut this in slices and you just dip them in there with a fork you let them sit in there three or four at a time and you pull them out and you just have the greatest onion mm. fest of your life. These wall onions are known to be the best of the best of the best and then they came right out of my garden on this one. But if you do come to Walla Walla remember to stop by and get a five pound or ten pound or whatever how big a bag they sell because you will not believe the taste and these onions, you can put them in your house, set them on a table, and you can smell them from 15 feet away. They're that good. They don't, there's nothing else like them on the world. In the world. So, I'm going to cut these up, and then we'll go. There. Now that we have these Walla Walla onions from my garden, get out of there, whatever that is. The process is simple. We have the vinegar. We have a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And you just put your onions in. I can get them to go in there. And here's a here's a red one. I don't know if that's red sweet or not. I'm not sure what it is. It's good though. It's really good. The Wall Wall sweet onions do not taste acidic. They are just sweet. If you want to have the best hamburger in the entire world, then take one of these slices, about a quarter inch thick let them sit in there for a little while just take them out and eat them like candy so that's another real great reason to visit Walla Walla and also these onions go well with the local wines for some reason maybe it's because the grapes are grown here go figure okay that's another really interesting thing about my Walla Walla so I hope you all Come here and visit at least once. Thank you.